Hi everyone! Welcome back to Bethany's Vintage Fairy Tale. Thank you so much for joining me today for a DIY video. I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys this DIY trunk that I'm going to be creating for my daughter to keep all of her toys in on our patio here. And as you can see, this box has definitely seen better days. It was from Value Village. I, only, I got it for $15. It's uh, definitely pretty worn. Lots of the paint is chipped off and the wood is really textured. But I thought it would be a beautiful piece that I could upcycle and turn into a shabby chic DIY. So I'm starting out with some beautiful floral paper that I got on Pinterest, actually. I just typed in vintage floral and then found a few in my color scheme. I wanted to continue on with the same kind of colors that are in my home. Lots of those warm rustic tones, lots of pinks, something really girly that my daughter would absolutely love and that would still go with the rest of our home. So I printed off all of the papers and kind of cut them into size. And then I'm going to go ahead and mod podge them onto the top of this box here, just to cover up all of the texture and all of the writing that was previously on the box. So I'm using a matte Mod Podge. I absolutely love this stuff. It's very multi-purpose and easy to use. You just go ahead and layer that on with a regular paintbrush. I'm using quite a generous layer here because as I said, this box is really textured. It's got a lot of, you know, uneven edges. So I wanted to make sure that I evenly coated it so that the paper would stick on nice and evenly. And then once you have all of your Mod Podge on here, you're gonna go ahead and layer on your paper. So my idea with this project is I wanted to create kind of almost like a patchwork quilt inspired look. So lots of different textures and flowers and patterns, just something that kind of reminded me of what my grandma used to make. We used to decorate dollhouses all the time together and she would make me beautiful little patchwork quilts for all of my Barbies. And I thought this would be just the perfect little piece that I could create for my daughter, something that she would absolutely love and she could easily store all of her toys in on our patio here. So once you have your first paper layered on, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you seal the top of it with Mod Podge as well. That way it makes sure that it's perfectly intact, none of the edges are going to roll up on you. And if it rains on here, if you're using this outside like I am, you want to make sure that you have a really nice strong coat on here just to continue to make sure that the paper is staying intact. You just keep going, keep layering in your Mod Podge, layering in your papers, kind of like a puzzle. I just kind of went ahead and saw like which papers I wanted to go together and layered them in accordingly. There's no right or wrong way to do this, you guys. It's really personal preference. You could change this DIY to fit any kind of decor style, any kind of aesthetic, using any papers or prints that you wanted to. The sky is really the limit with this project. There's so many ways to personalize it and to make it totally you. A little tip that I have for you guys as well when you're doing this kind of project is if you have an X-Acto knife, you can use that to give a really nice flushed edge along the ridges of the box if you kind of use that as a guide to get a really nice straight edge and make sure that your paper is tucked in nice and tight into the grooves of your box. That just helps to give it a really nice finished look. Or you can kind of go along as I'm doing here, just kind of placing as you're going. It really depends on your kind of um, crafting style. If you like things that are really nice and precise and perfect edges, you can definitely go ahead and measure all of your papers beforehand and get really nice precise cuts with your X-Acto knife. Or you can kind of do it kind of like a puzzle like I'm doing here, just kind of filling as you go. That's the great thing about crafting is it's so personal you can change it completely to fit whatever kind of preferences that you have or to fit whatever kind of decor style. I just love crafting in that way because it just really shows your personality and I love having a personalized home decor touch in our space. It just helps to make it so much more unique to you and I love that about home decorating. Thank you. 
If you guys notice that there are some air bubbles in your paper, you can also use a credit card or something to kind of lightly push down just to get all of those bubbles out. Or you can leave it textured as I have done here. I kind of like it this way because it goes with the shabby chic kind of rustic charm that this box already had. But again, it's totally a personal preference and you can change up the look depending on whatever kind of style that you're going for. But I just love how it's coming together. It's so French country, shabby chic. I think it's the perfect little toy box for my daughter and I'm loving how it's coming out so far. So now that the top is completed, I wanted to do the same patchwork design on the front of the box. Again, you can see here that this box has <laughs> seen some better days. It is so in bad shape and it really needed some love. And I'm just going ahead and just adding in some more floral paper. Again, just kind of piecing them together. Just whatever looks good to you. Use your visual eye and just kind of place the patterns accordingly. There's no right or wrong way to do this DIY. It's so fun and personalized. So now that the front is all completed, I've got all of my papers on. I'm just loving how this is coming together. It's so adorable. It's so fun and easy to do. And it's one of those DIYs that is just so nice and relaxing and just fun to kick back and just enjoy crafting and just making a beautiful piece. I'm so excited with how it's turning out. So as I was finishing up this piece, I thought it needed something else just to kind of finish off the outer edges, just because some of the cut work got a little bit messy, and I just wanted to add another element of that shabby chic decor style that I love so much. So what I did was I grabbed some Dollar Tree lace, so that was really inexpensive, and my hot glue gun, and I wanted to pleat this fabric all the way around just to give it, again, another um, whimsical touch, something to kind of finish off the edges and just add that shabby chic layered effect onto this decor piece. So what I'm doing is I'm just using a thin layer of hot glue and pleating the fabric as I go along, just making sure to kind of get the pleats as even as possible, and then just going around the whole perimeter of the box. Again, this just really helps to kind of ground out the piece. It gives something to just kind of make the edges look a little bit neater and tidier. And then you just want to do small sections of hot glue at a time, just because it dries so quickly and you want to make sure that you get a really nice firm hold so that the lace doesn't come off in certain parts and you don't need to worry about measuring it or anything like that I'm just kind of um, using my eye to kind of see how far apart I want all of the pleats You guys could also take this a step further and add even more embellishments if you wanted. You could add even more lace or different kinds of trims or pearls. Really the sky is the limit. You could change this however you wanted, add whatever kind of decor touch that you have. The dollar store has so many amazing little knickknacks and trinkets that you could add to personalize this box for whoever you're making it for. And here you go. So this is the top of the box. I'm so excited to see how the lace just really helped to finish it off. I think that just added another layer of whimsy and shabby chic to the box. And I love the beautiful vintage lace. So I wanted to go ahead and also do that on the front of the box just to make it look nice and cohesive. And again, just to kind of cover up any funky edges that I had going around the perimeter of the box. 
So I'm doing the same thing, just using a small bead of hot glue, just working in little sections as I go, and then using my hands to pleat the fabric, just in little bits here and there. And then if you guys are more sensitive to hot glue, I've been hot gluing for years, so my fingers are pretty tough, but if you wanted to, you could use a spatula or something just to kind of help you push down the pleats, that way you don't burn your fingers. And then again, you just want to keep going around the entire perimeter of the box just to close off all of those edges. So here is the box and all of its glory all finished. I'm so excited with how this turned out, you guys. I think this is the perfect piece for my daughter to keep all of her toys. I love the kind of blend between that rustic charm with this very old rustic box and then the beautiful French country florals and then the shabby chic lace. I think this just fits in so well with my decor and really goes with my aesthetic as well. And my daughter loves pink. It's her favorite color. So I know she's absolutely going to love this. And and it's so practical to have these pieces around your home. They're so multi-purpose. You can use them for so many different things. And this would also be a great gift idea too if you wanted to personalize this for somebody and just make it with their colors or with whatever kind of things that they love. This would be a great piece for that as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. I've really enjoyed sharing with you guys this DIY tutorial today. I hope that I inspired you to create something beautiful in your homes. No matter what kind of decor style that you guys love, just know that you can change all of these ideas to fit whatever kind of decor that you guys love that reflects your personality and whatever kind of home decor that you guys love. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. I would love to have you a part of my fairy tale family here. We have so much fun on this channel, sharing all of the home decor ideas, decorating, DIY. So I would love to have you a part of the family here. And don't forget to like this video as well if you enjoyed it. That really helps us support the channel. But thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Take care. Bye.